Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mike, host of the free iTunes podcast, Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike, but that's not why I'm here today. This is another Saving Savvy episode. This time we're looking once again at the new iPad, and we're especially going to look at its 4G connection, which is a really, really cool function on this iPad. Now I'm fortunate to have this gadget, and I've had it for a few weeks, and I've taken it out on the road, and I've used the 4G connection, and I was shocked at how much data that I was using. In fact, I used it for much less than an hour. I went back to the cellular service uh, site, and I found out that I had used over a half a gigabyte. So out of two gigabytes, I used a half a gigabyte. How is that possible? Well, because I was streaming video. And so video is a big uh, data eater, and I'm going to show you how not to do it and then how to do it to get a much lower data rate. So how not to do it is to use the YouTube app that's right built into the um, iPad. gives you a, a beautiful kind of uh, resolution and it's great and easy to use but it eats up data. So I am going to go and I'm going to download one of my own videos, watch it, and then report back to you using this app how much data it consumes. So I'll be back. Okay, what I did was I watched one of my own videos, which was in HD supposedly, using the YouTube app. Um, it was a 10 minute video. Let's see how much data that I consumed. So if I can get that going. And I'm using a little program called Data Usage Pro. If I go in there, custom, I used 200 megabytes for a 10 minute video. Now I'm going to show you how to do that same video or watch that same video consuming a lot less megabytes. Again, really not so important if you're using your Wi-Fi, but very important if you're using your 4G connection. Okay, here's the tip. Instead of watching the video in using the kind of YouTube app that comes with the iPad, watch it using Safari when you're using your 4G connection. And so if you see, I'm now in Safari. There's my video. You probably can't see it very well, but I don't really know of a better way to display the contents of the iPad on the computer. But you'll see there's a little button here or a little little icon that says H, um, HQ or high quality. Now I want to press that so it goes HQ off. So it's going to turn gray. Now I'm going to watch the exact same video and we're going to see how much data we consumed with HQ off watching that same video in Safari. Okay, here we go. Okay, we've now watched the video, not through the iTunes, or excuse me, through the uh, YouTube app, but through Safari, and I've switched off the high quality feature on the video. And for the exact same video, it was only 20 megabytes of data. So that's a 10 fold decrease, an unbelievable decrease. So the bottom line is if you are out and about and you're using your 4G connection on your new iPad, definitely watch YouTube videos through Safari, not through the YouTube app, and definitely click off that HQ function and you're going to save yourself a whole lot of data. Naturally, if you're really going to be a saving savvy person, wait until you get home and you can just connect to Wi-Fi. If you have some time, please give my podcast a listen. It's called Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike. It's totally free. It's on iTunes and other places. And beyond that, have a great day.